Beer, 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 all the beer. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in at a Goodwill store. We'll probably go to several Goodwills today, so I'm gonna kinda like flow all these Goodwill videos in together because we know that I don't typically last filming very long in them. So we're gonna go in here and see if Goodwill will be a Goodwill and not a bad will today. Oh, you got jokes. We got Hello. jokes. <laughs> we were with Jeffrey. We're gonna see what we can find today. Let's go. Hi, I found this little Otagiri turtle mug for 69 cents. So I like that. What are you? You're, you're new. We're not gonna get you, but we are gonna get you. Here's a nice little oil and vinegar set. These are kind of nice. For a dollar ninety-nine, look like they're at Ucago. And she's kind of neat too. Hmm. All right. Well, I kind of like those in a way. All right, I might get those too. Here's a baby, but not a baby that I want. Naked Barbies. That's a scary lion there, but toy aisle is uh, not very productive today. All right, here we have a Andrea by Sadik. Um, bird, little robin, but he's got a chipped beak, unfortunately, so don't be getting you today. But I do, I'm looking at and I see one of my little angels that I love. These are the ones that I really like, these like little kind of composite ones with these fun bright colors. So I am going to get her. Hey friends, we're at Goodwill in downtown Indianapolis. This is an adventure. It is. Because yes. We, I, we don't, I don't normally travel in the big city, but we're, we're traveling. And we're going to the Goodwill. We're yeah. going to see what we can find. Hmm. Oh, there's a... Oh, a temple turkey? Yeah, I think so. Looks like it. I'll get you, my friend. We'll put you in the cart, little buddy. <gasps> Mackinac! I'm not going to get that, though. But looky here. The Straits of Mackinac. I like you. This is kind of different. Oh my. It's broken in a lot of places though, yeah. isn't it? I wonder if these glow. No, they don't glow. They don't glow. Misty, what are you? What are you? You're just crazy, Misty. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, here is some Royal Dalton. This is should be Royal Dalton for $1.99. I will get that and I'll put it away for the Easter time. When the Easter time is back. It's a little mug and bowl. And we've got some little redware stacking. A little sugar and creamer with a little hand-painted rose on it. Don't think I'm going to get that. Here's also a little jelly jar. It's in pretty bad shape though. We won't be getting that today either. All right. Okay, well, we'll go to the next aisle and see what we can find over there. Well, this gal right here is patriotic. She's an angel. She's playing the guitar to the dolphins in the oceans for America. That's a lot going on right there. Here we have beer, 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 all the beer, beer, beer. There's only one though. I might have gotten it if there were two, because two people can, two people can have a beer together. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was Fairyland up there, but it's not. It is not. Nope, it's not. Wait, all day long today, I've been singing. I've been just singing. I'm not with Mark today, so I have I, I don't think I'm driving Jeffrey nuts yet, but it drives Mark nuts so I make songs up for everything that I see. Oh your little little purple cup. Hmm. Ooh, that's a big coffee cup. My word. Ooh, you can get a lot of coffee in that cup. Okay, right here I'm looking and I'm seeing four bases for ceramic Christmas trees. And the thing of it is, a lot of times you will find the trees and you don't find the base. So I think I'm definitely going to get these two. Don't think I'm going to get these two. Because I don't normally find the white ones, but I am going to get these two. 
They are $2.99 each. All right, I think that this is kind of cute. It's $2.99, just like a little, I don't know. It's just a cute little, a cute little print. I wonder if there's another one though, because sometimes they're in pairs. But I do like to look through the artwork for resale and also because Emma is having an apartment. Oh look, that's not old, but it's a it's a fun little kitschy cat. It's not old, but it's still kind of fun. Hi friends! Welcome to the haul portion of today's video. I have to say that this is a haul from two of the Goodwills that Jeffrey and I had gone to together. But one of them, some of the things are something that I actually bought on a Goodwill trip that I went to by myself. So I went ahead and threw them all in together because, I mean, it's not a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and I will show you the things that I bought. Now, as always, um, I'm going to show you the things that I am keeping for myself first. And everything else is going to be available either by sending me an email, thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com or it will be available in an upcoming live sale. My sales are on Tuesdays and Thursdays at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All right, I will go ahead and show you the things that I'm keeping. And one of them is this angel. Now I collect these angels. I have a whole little area full of them. They're like those 1960s, 1970s, very mod, funky, kind of like a resin material, not a resin material. It's like a composite material. I always, I think I know what this is going to be made out of, but it, I don't. Um, she was a dollar ninety nine. Look at her just singing, holding her hands together. She's great. So I am keeping her. I also got this. This was a dollar ninety nine, and it is a dash of that. It's a little turkey serving bowl. So I thought that this would be cool to put. I don't know something that you could serve something in. I don't know, maybe jelly for rolls at Thanksgiving, or or I will just put it out for decoration. I just kind of liked it that it's white, I could use it for display, and it's brand new in the box, or I could actually use it for a serving piece. This is something that I don't know that I'm keeping. I may actually sell this because I might already have one, and it is a Santa Claus Indiana souvenir tray. Um, I paid 69 cents for it, which was a great price to play to pay. Santa Claus Land is now known as Holiday World, but it'll always be Santa. It'll you'll always be Santa Claus Land to me. But um, I think I might already have this, so this actually might be up for sale as well. Santa Claus Land is in Santa Claus, Indiana. All right, and then I got these. Now I technically I'm not keeping these. These are clear glass candle holders however they do work very well in a large fairy lamp um you know like the the moon and star the in the star and bars fairy lamp because you can put a candle in here and it will sit down in it and you won't get the candle wax on the fairy lamp itself so when i find these i do buy them they were this one was 69 cents and this one was 99 cents so I will be adding these as like a little bonus thing to those bigger fairy lamps when I sell them. So technically they're not for sale, but I'm not keeping them. But they will go with some of the fairy lamps. And then I got an Airbake cookie sheet for $1.99. And this is a really, this is in really good shape. And I got this for Emma, you know, because she's just starting out and it's a wherever insulated cookie sheet. So I'm giving that to her. And that's it. Oh, and the shirt that I'm wearing. I also got it at Goodwill. And I'm keeping it. I'm wearing it. I've washed it. You know, I've it's been washed. And um, I'm I'm keeping that. So those are all the things that I am keeping. Um, so everything else is available for resale. And I'll go ahead and start with these. I did find these when I was shopping with Jeffrey. These are bases for uh, Christmas trees. You know, the lighted Christmas trees that everybody loves. They had two white ones too, but I just picked up the green ones because I do find these trees, the, the ceramic trees with no base. Um, so these are the nice, they have the nice cords. I don't think that they're terribly old, but still great for a replacement piece. It adds value to the ceramic tree if I find one and I'm trying to sell the tree. They were $2.99 each. 
So, but if you're looking for one, let me know. And I've got two of them. Well, I'll just keep, I'll just keep with the Christmas theme. I got these two little. I think that these are like the Kimball uh, reindeer. That they're look they look like that. I don't think that they are. I think that someone's just painted them, but they're kind of a little purpley and maroon color. They were six. Yeah, they were ninety nine cents a piece. But fun, cute little reindeer. So those will go in the, my Christmas stash up in Pinky. And then I got this one. I think I got this one with Jeffrey too. It was $1.99. It says it was made in the Philippines. But a cute little Kimple style. Woof. You just went for a ride. Was that fun? Kimple style uh, turkey. Kind of looks like a little stuffed animal. So that will go in Pinky for uh, Thanksgiving Day stuff. Well, I might as well just go ahead and I got another holiday thing. And this is a Walker Bach. And I can never, I think that that's pronounced the right way. Let me show you. Walker, Watcher Bach. I tend to buy these when I see them because people do collect this brand. They have a whole different series of cups and plates and cookie jars and platters. This was 69 cents. It's in great condition. So nice little cup for Valentine's Day. Um, and then I picked up this. This is a Christmas thing. Uh, this is Janet's tray. Um, I could not resist this simply because it has the little, the little pixies on it. Looky there. Look at them. Those little mischievous guys. It was $3.99. I don't know if I can get Janet's name off of here. I honestly don't really care. I mean, I'm not going to keep this. It's going to be for sale, but it's hand-painted. It's just cute. So I got that. Maybe I'm crazy, but it has pixies on it and you, you buy, you buy pixies. This is also something for resale. It was $3 and 99 cents. I saw Jeffrey had picked up one of these and I'm just going to be a little copycat and I'm going to get one too. I mean, he picked one up in one of his videos. I watched the video. He wasn't, he was with me when I bought this, but he didn't get one on the same day as I did is what I'm trying to say, but it's a temptations by Tara little covered dish with a cardinal on it. It's all taped up, but it's in excellent condition. Um, so we'll see. I know people like cardinals. It's a cute little thing, tray. I don't know. I, I know that selling them, I can sell them on eBay. I don't know if someone would be interested in it on a live sale or not, but you can let me know. You can let me know if you are. And then I also got this little bisque fairy lamp. And it is, I'm not sure who it's made by. It is all taped up. Oh, you know what? Hang on just a second. Well, I'm a little surprised because I peeled off the sticker. It was 99 cents. And it has um, the Christmas story basically all etched on it. It's in great condition. Here's the dome. And it is Bernard Bernard. Bernard, I don't know. I'm saying that wrong. I know that I am, but it's Limoges, France. I had no clue. So there you go. That was, that was a great, that, maybe that was a great find. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's worth. I'll have to do a little bit of research on it, but I thought it was very delicate and sweet. So I picked that up. I'm surprised. I did not think that it was Limoges. All right, then I got this little pitcher here, and it was 99 cents. Now, it's not terribly old, but I picked it up because it is uh, Jim Shore. It's 2002 Jim Shore, and I'm not quite sure. I mean, maybe it's not really that great, but for 99 cents, I thought I would just give it a try. We'll see. And then I got this little creamer. It was $1.99. I liked the blue flowers around it. I like that and on the handle there. It was $1.99. It has a candle on the inside. So I might see if I can get that out. It, 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 it doesn't have a maker. I don't know who made it, but I liked those blue, soft blue flowers on it. And I got this. Oh, this was in 
the video with Jeffrey and I. This was $1.99 and this was $1.99. And they are the Royal Dalton um, Beatrice, Beatrice Potter two-handled mug and the little cereal bowl. These are really cute for Easter. You can, you know, put this on a little plate tray and you can use it as a display. Um, but they're in great condition and a great price. So I got those. And I got this just because it was funny. I just liked it. I, I don't know why I like these things so much, but I tend to be drawn towards these, towards these funny things. This was made by, it says Paula, 1968. It was 99 cents and it's a little trophy for the head nut. I just thought it would be something fun that someone could give to, you know, like even someone for Mother's Day. She's the head nut of the house. It's a walnut, but it is marked on the back, made in the USA, Paula, 1968, head nut. And I got this. Now, actually, this little piece was from a, another thrift store that I had gone into. It just so happened to be in this little haul. It was in a free box, so I did pick it up. They had it marked for a dollar, but it was in the free box, and it is made in Japan. Just this little swan planter. It was free. I'm going to grab that if it's free, of course. And then I got this. Um, I'm not sure. This was $1.99. It's Peggy Carr Glass. And I want to say that I've heard of Peggy Carr before. But it's it's new in the box. And it's this really pretty sunflower sun catcher. Uh, it says Peggy Hall Glass. No, Peggy, Peggy Carr Glass. An autumn sunflower ornament. But I think this would be pretty as a sun catcher. You could put that in your window. I don't know. I just, I liked it for $1.99. If, if it's not worth anything, then I actually may keep it and put it in my kitchen window. So maybe I'll put you over there. I'll have to look you up. I did get a couple books. I got, this is music. I just love the graphics on this. We got the man playing the accordion in this little red, white, and blue. So this is an old music book. But the graphics in here are just fun. Look at that. And the fish. The codfish. So it has uh, little plays and, oh wow, here's the old woman in a basket. But aren't those fun? This has to be from the 1960s. Let's see. Yeah, 1961. I just thought it was cute. And then this one I got cooking with casseroles. I love casseroles. Um, this was a sunset book. Again, this has some really fun graphics in it as well. It has to be from the 60s. Um, from the editors of Sunset Books and Sunset Magazine. Uh, 1959, uh, corned beef vegetable bake. Is this the one that has, I thought this had had really cool graphics in it as well. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I was totally mistaken. So it doesn't have a lot of illustrations in it, but this lady had marked out sagebrush lima beans. And she said they were no good. So if you get this cookbook, you know not to make that. I wonder if there's any more markings in it oh wait there's a little someone she had written something over here for the zucchini souffle it says not as good as vada tui don't bother again i like that she's opinionated on her recipes and i like that about her so she's letting us know that she's tried it and it's not very good don't bother don't bother making it but again look at that little llama or sheep sitting at the table it's just fun i loved the graphics on the front of it. And then I got this sweet little print. I was with Jeffrey when we got this. Um, this, it was $2.99. Someone tried selling it at a yard sale for $10, apparently. But it is this very 1970 Holly Hobby-esque um, artwork. And it has a little hanger here on the back so it can be hung. But I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cute. It's kind of puffy on this burlap. Very lightweight, so it won't be hard to ship at all. And then I also got this puzzle. Now, I always look for brand new puzzles that are still in their packaging for a couple different reasons. One, I mean, if I want a puzzle for myself, it's sealed, so I know all the pieces are there. If I wanted to give it to somebody as a gift, it's sealed, so you know all the pieces are there. It's never been opened. It was $2.99, and puzzles are, be they're expensive. 
Um, this is one of my favorite brands. It's White Mountain Puzzles. Um, this is the Sports Legends Puzzle. So it's got all these sports people. I don't know who most of them are. Um, I know there's Richard Petty and Muhammad Ali and Dale Earnhardt and uh, Michael Jordan. Who is that swimmer that won a bunch of medals? Ryan Phelps? Yeah, he does. He is. Uh, Billie Jean King. Well, maybe I do look at me knowing some of these people. Larry Bird. That's probably about it. Anyway, brand new. And this probably will sell on eBay for around $15 to $20 or so. Maybe a little bit more. Depending on the time of year. Because I know around the holidays those to tend to sell a little bit for a little bit more money. And then the last thing that I picked up, and I was with Jeffrey when I did pick this up, it was $1.99. I do believe that this is Czechoslovakia glass. Um, I think this is part of a console set. I think, it I, think, I think it would have had candlesticks to go with it as well. And I don't know if it sat in something else because it has this really strange lip around it. I don't know if that's part of the design in the glass or what, but it is, it's dirty. It needs to be cleaned. That's some little spots on it. But I think that this would be great for Halloween display. Um, it was $1.99, which is a great price to pay for it. So I probably will stick this up in Pinky to put back for Halloween. I think it's great. Almost looks like a spider web. But that's it. That was the haul from, that was from three Goodwills. I mean, back in the day, this would all be from one Goodwill, but that was from three different ones on three different trips. So Goodwill is, well, it's just not being very good lately, but but I wanted to show you what I got. And I, as again, let me know if there's any, anything that you might be interested in. You can send me an email, thriftyjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it's available still. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for going shopping with us and watching the haul. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.